Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, where this episode we're going to get as much body work and stripping the old paint off as possible in the next uh, three days. <laughs> That's what this video will be, three days worth of work on this. I've been kind of falling behind because I've been doing other stuff. Uh, last video installed the dash cam in my tow pig. But I did some other stuff too with the stereo and speakers and uh, had other stuff going on. So we're back to it. Uh, what we do last episode, we put in the put in the tail lights, LED tail lights, got them working, uh, customized that rear panel, painted it flat black. Uh, all the rust and crap underneath holes underneath these upper windows fixed all that uh, so anyway the body's not too bad dent wise I think there's a dent a little dent there there's gonna be little dings and dings and stuff but nothing too bad uh, we got to strip it all down to the metal uh, a few episodes ago we stripped down the trunk and the hood and used uh, phosphoric acid to eat the rust away sanded it down and, and primed them I uh, didn't do no body work I don't think the deck lid's too bad but there's a bunch of dents on the hood we're not we're not gonna fix that the car's going flat black so what we got to do now is the uh, we got to do the roof it's all dirty and everything but the roof is was like the hood in the trunk uh, but little did I know I thought this was I thought the paint had baked off and the metal rusted but it wasn't the case the blue paint was actually still underneath <laughs> there just little uh, well I guess you could I don't know if you could see here see them little pits looking things there that's where the rust came up and it just spread out made it look like it was all rusty so basically we got to sand the rust off and the blue paint and it was going to take a while that's why uh, <laughs> anyway it because it took a long time to get, get the, the paint and the rust and everything off the hood and the trunk now we got the big old roof to go uh, we got to take off all this chrome trim here uh, and leave that off till after it's painted also the back I don't think there's any rust holes in here you know it's had a half vinyl top on it at, at some point it was gone when I got it but there's some little rust holes here so once once we get all this trim off we're gonna have to fix all that there's probably more uh, so we got to do that and the rest of it is really I'll probably just strip all the paint off probably feather it off down in here somewhere and leave well but then there's some rust little surface rust there we'll probably just end up stripping the whole thing down to metal uh, some of the paints not too bad down here we'll probably just leave it feathered in there's another ding right there we'll find all the dings once I strip it down to the metal but yeah we're gonna strip this down for sure probably use some more phosphoric acid on the roof and probably those quarters I strip all this down for sure oh shit that is a what well, is a crease right along there that sucks little door ding there uh, this bottom here is probably good uh, this fender here there's a big old bondo spot probably done 30 years ago <laughs> it's all the paint and stuff's baked off that's going to be ground down the metal and redone uh, this fender here is really bad paint wise because they probably fixed that dent and painted that fender blended it in or something uh so the worst part of this fender is this rust hole here 
when I was doing some pour 15 I just put some pour 15 on there uh, we'll probably just unbolt the bottom of this fender if I can pull it forward a couple inches and uh, we'll weld in a piece of metal there not not tonight but uh, tomorrow and uh, we'll get that that patched we're just gonna go over this side now because the other side's dark I don't feel like putting lights over there this will keep me busy for tonight so uh, yeah I don't know if you can see all this uh, we got some rust hole rust holes in the front of the hood and the back of this tailgate right here some rust holes we're gonna beat that in same with the front and put a skim of uh, fill it in with that Dyna glass Pondo glass waterproof fiberglass reinforced filler stuff uh, we're not going to bother cutting and welding out on a lot on a lot of this we'll just do it on the bottom of that fender uh, screwed on the opera window uh, we're just going to bondo up bond put some bondo in these screw holes they had some factory stuff over top of it I don't know what it was bondo to like stuff and then this had a, some metal plate uh, that was all warped and was sticking out so we're just gonna fill that in with body filler and uh, smooth that out and then uh, later on before we paint it we're gonna put in some uh, seam sealer right along the top here and then just everything's going flat black and if you watch the last episode if you haven't because uh, I already had this off people commenting before that oh take that off take it off yeah well there's nothing underneath here guys it's supposed to have a louver it's supposed to have window trim uh, if you take this off it looks it looks stupid without without this on there so I, I, I don't have anything else to put on it so it, this stays uh, if you didn't watch last episode you can watch it and you'll see what's underneath there okay so let me get started I'm just gonna use my uh, DA sander here with uh, 80 grit and uh, just start buzzing that rust down and paint so I'll be back okay guys I'll show you a little bit of what it'll look like sanding Okay, you get the picture. That rust is ground in there. You have to take off these marker lights too. But yeah, she's ground in there. That's why I'm gonna probably use that phosphoric acid. We got a lot left of it there. Uh, it's up to here. We got enough to do this car and another one or two after that. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll get all this ground down and we'll put some phosphoric acid on there and let it do its stuff okay let me do some sanding and I'll be back okay guys I'm putting a little bit of this uh, phosphoric acid okay it doesn't say how much it is like what percentage what how it's been diluted unless that's what it means Seven seven thirty two. Uh, any anyway. Uh, yeah, I know I paid way too much for this. Sixty nine dollars shipped because it's Eastwood. But like I said, I've never used it before. Uh, it's the only really thing I could come up with on eBay. So I bought it and I figured, well, sixty nine bucks if it can do the whole car, 
great. It's worth 69 bucks. Uh, so, got a lot of comments. Uh, oh, you can buy that at Home Depot. Buy it under this brand. Buy it under that brand. And there's all these different names of stuff that has phosphoric acid. Okay. This is just phosphoric acid and water. And that's it. A lot of this other stuff has a whole bunch of different ingredients in it. Uh, the cheapest, people are saying, oh, 18 bucks a gallon at Home Depot for, uh, I, I can't remember the name, I should have wrote it down, clean, clean something, it's concrete etcher, etching stuff and concrete cleaner and all that. Well, I did look it up at Home Depot. Uh, I don't have one around here, we got a Lowe's probably the same stuff is a clean strip or something like that is the brand name now it said I, I looked it up online at Home Depot and then you can click the ingredients or, or whatever and it had phosphoric acid 10 to 30 percent so we don't know what this is this could be 90 percent and 10 percent water could be 50 50 I don't know but if you're getting a gallon of other stuff and it's only 10 to 30 percent well, well you well you'd have to buy three of them to make or at least three you might have to buy 10 of them if it's 10 percent to make one gallon but we'll say you gotta you gotta buy three or four to no thir 10 to 30 percent yeah three well so we'll say four you got to buy four of them gallons for 18 bucks to make 100 percent or probably more but just being on the on the so uh you don't know you don't know this could be 90 percent this could be 50 percent i don't know but anyway guys that's uh you know you can buy it There's, like i said a whole bunch of different names and stuff so Anyway, you put it on here and you uh, just put it on here for 30 minutes. Can't do it in the direct sunlight. It won't actually completely evaporate and harden up. What it does is uh, it gets all like gooey uh, the next morning. So you can leave it on here overnight or however long you want. And what I've been doing is scraping it off with a razor blade. Now, a lot of people have commented, oh, yeah, you can uh, sand it off because according to them directions on that, uh, it didn't say, it just said it turns it gray and then prime it. It doesn't say anything about sanding, doesn't say anything about, uh, I can't think of the name now because there's two, two acids that people use in automotive phosphoric the, this stuff and then muriatic muriatic whatever uh acid and that requires a uh after you do it put it on like this and you can scrub it in there with steel wool or a brush uh you got to neutralize it with uh baking soda or other stuff there's other stuff you can do to neutralize it and you got to use that and wash it off with water and dry it and you got to prime it right away uh, within minutes or else it'll flash rust uh so and it's supposed to work better than than this but uh and it's cheap too it's like real it's cheaper than cheaper than this stuff Phos phosphoric acid so uh anyway guys those are the two you use and you've got to uh you can't store that in your garage like if i had stored um muriatic acid in the shop and clad doors the next morning now it doesn't matter if the lid's on it seeps out the vapors and every tool or metal object in here will have a coat of rust on it from from what I heard I, I watched one video in the guys garage and and sure enough everything had a 
thing of a coating of rust on it. So it leaks out, gets in the air, and uh, it clings to metal and, and rusts it out. So uh, I don't think I want to use that. Plus, like I said, you got to neutralize it and all that stuff. Uh, I don't think we're going to be using using that. So we're using this uh, this stuff here. Uh, maybe next time I will buy a gallon of the uh, clean strip or whatever the hell it is um, for 18 bucks and check it out because I kind of know how this works now, how it's working. And if that other stuff that's maybe it's only 10% and maybe it'll take like 10 coats of this to get start getting the rust off, you don't know. Right? So that's what you got to look out for. But anyway, just put it on there. A little bit goes a long way. And put it, uh, you know, we've got the other video on doing it. But uh, let it eat it up for 30 minutes. And what I've been doing, like I said, is scraping it off with a razor blade. Uh, not, not it, scraping the uh, rust off. It makes stuff turn black and gray. And... Uh, you can see here there's some gray there's some black and I just scrape it up with a razor blade and yeah you're supposed to just sand it all sand it all down with the DA after after you're done and uh, prime it so I think this is the this is what I probably want to use here and however many coats it takes to to do it and you don't have to worry about neutralizing it and stuff like that. So anyway, we'll, we'll get a better look at this and do this tomorrow in the in the sunlight. But uh, you can see all the uh, it's all turning brown, all the rust rust getting there. But I think 30 minutes is the uh, maximum. I mean, after 30 minutes, it ain't probably going to do much. So you can screw around with it for 30 minutes, and then you're supposed to wipe it off with acetone or thinner. Or if it gets too dry, like I said, with the razor blade. So wipe it off and then just do it again until all this, all this is gone. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to be messing with, messing with this. I got all the trim off. There's still, uh, this is part of the vinyl top here. I'm going to take all that off with a razor blade. And I don't think this is too bad over here when I mention the... Well, you probably can't see too. I think there's just a little hole right there. But let me get this remnants of a vinyl top off there. And uh, we'll clean up them and put a little filler in there. But And take off this bottom one here tomorrow and see how bad it is. But it doesn't look too rusty in there. So anyway, I'm going to spend the next little while putting this acid on here. I just figured I'd let you give you an update on uh, the uses of it or the uh, stuff. So give you more information. But yeah, this, this does not have to be neutralized. Like I said, you just wipe it off and prime it. Or wipe it off, sand it, and prime it. It doesn't have to be neutralized with baking soda or or any of that stuff so it's completely different than that muriatic acid and it seems to work like I said it's it may take a little bit longer but okay I'll be back Okay guys, next day, I just left that stuff on there, had acid on there all night, so uh, I'm going to scrape off some stuff, you see it a lot better, a lot of it turned black and gray and stuff, so we'll see if any of it scrapes off, i got a new razor blade here. Thank you. 
anyway we're gonna scrape off the loose stuff and then uh, just sand it down with the DA with 80 grit and uh, see what it looks like still got a bunch of some blue paint there uh, bit of blue paint up here so let me scrape some of that off take that marker light off and we'll start sanding down all this well this whole side actually top of the I'm not gonna bother taking the locks mirrors or door handles or anything off I will mask them up and uh, strip all this down the metal I'm gonna strip all the door edge things here and then we'll get into some bondo work fixing uh filling in these holes and uh i think there's a couple of little dings oh we got that scrape right along that bottom of the door there and that patch to go so yeah anyway let me start sanding her down i'll be back okay guys I was planning on working on it all day, but it was too hot. It dropped down to, I think it was 79 or 80 today, but uh, it was too bright and sunny there that it was too hot to work, almost fainted. So <laughs> uh, we're coming out here at night again and try to get all this done and primered tonight, but I don't know if I can. But uh, anyway, sanded down most of this. I was gonna bang out this dent from the inside a little bit. Uh, other than that, just little stuff, uh, little dings here. I'm going to put another coat uh, of that acid, a couple little areas, maybe with another one on here. Okay, got all this sanded down. Uh, I still got to do all this area here. Uh, I'll put some more on here. Uh, I don't know. Might have to put a little bit of body filler on that, but primer may fill it in. Uh, start sanding down the door. This is where that crease is here. Uh, I don't think it's bad enough to pull out. We'll just put a skim of Bondo there. And we'll get to uh, fixing that fender here in a little bit. Uh, I don't know if there's enough. Yeah, there might be enough to weld on a piece there. Uh, I'll figure it out. We'll have to cut out a section there. And Okay, I'll show you this. Yeah, this, you can tell the difference of the paint here. So I think they repainted this whole fender when they repaired this Bondo something. It's in, just in bad shape. But anyway, I got a grinding disc on here. We'll see what's... All the old bondo cracks it's all gonna come up so we'll get all that out of there strip all this down the metal trying to get this one side and I don't know maybe half the roof okay the last video just came out today uh, doing the tail lights uh, most of you like them <laughs> the tail lights a few of them said they look shitty but as expected you know I spent 20 bucks instead of 400 on new ones and uh yeah i don't i don't have any other tail lights people go oh, put on 77 impala lights put on the old cougar lights yeah well i don't have any of them they're all old cars that you, you just they're not around anymore you can't just go and you know pull them out of your ass so uh, so anyway, I walked, went around my yard there. I couldn't find any nice flat square tail lights to fit this, so that's what I come up with. I got the other set should be coming in tomorrow, maybe. 
I'll show them to you. I don't know if I'll put them in or not. But I'll show you what else you can get. I think they're 16 bucks. I think they're going to be a little bit skinnier. Anyway, just showing you what's out there on eBay. For If I don't use them for this, I'll use them for a trailer. Or use them ones for a trailer and put the new ones on here. But I'll probably just leave them ones on. Instead of redoing everything. <coughs> and somebody said, oh, that's it. The car is worth the money. Spend the money. Spend the money. No, no, you can't. It's like flushing, flushing 400 bucks down the toilet, buying new taillight stuff. You know, another guy commented, yeah, he had, he had one he fixed up and took him three years to sell it and he barely broke even. Yeah, well, that's why I'm nipping it in the bud right now because that's what's going to happen. And I, I, I'm, not, I'm not here to teach you how to, how to break even or lose money on cars you got it you gotta keep it as cheap as you can and fix it at or sell it at certain points like i said i tried to sell it got offered 3100 uh so i i could have made some money on it then but i figure well for content and plus i want to i want to fix it up uh we're gonna we're gonna go ahead with it what we're doing now go ahead it's not just gonna cost a couple hundred bucks for paint and uh and materials and stuff primer and sandpaper and uh it'll look you know 100 percent better and it'll be worth quite a bit more uh than 3100 you know it might be worth five grand when i'm done painting it and then then we're left the interior which probably i don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet other stuff that would cost way more money, new tires, windshield, uh, stuff like that we're probably not going to do because, uh, like I said, you, 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 it's a fine line. You get, you got you to gotta have a stopping point, certain stopping points when you're building a car to, uh, to stop and, and sell it because you can't just go all the way out like I do on most of these cars and and fix everything that's wrong with it because on this particular car you'll you'll break even or lose money or you know make a dollar an hour working on it anyway uh i'm not sure if i'm going to put that piece of chrome back on there or not i probably shouldn't if i don't i should fill these holes in here anyway we got to grind this down and put some uh fiberglass filler in there take these off uh and put a little, I think I showed you, put a little filler in here, bang that in a little bit. So we're going to be doing that too. Okay, well, I'm going to continue on here sanding it, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, got some Bondo mixed up on the uh, infamous pizza box. We're just going to uh, go over the little dents and stuff. I bang that one out there a little bit. Uh, right in there. Yeah, okay, and we got this big long crease right here. And some dings right there. We'll be taking a cheese cheese burger to this here in uh, a few minutes after it starts drying. I'll 
good you can see here. We got a little bit of this started. Okay, well that's a start. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, use the uh, cheese grater bondo file. Got some of it, but it's dried a little bit too fast here. Mixed up a little bondo glass. Now, these weren't out here yesterday. Look at these little things here. Little fly looking things being invaded i just noticed them just now thousands of them i don't think i'll put that chrome on there i just filled up the holes yeah look at them all on the hood all these little they, they weren't out here last night these friggin flies or bugs uh, I don't know. I guess we're all attracted to that light, but had the light out here last night. Okay, we can mix up a little bit more Bondo. I forgot to we'll fill up all these holes here with Bondo too. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, fixing to patch this. It probably needs a whole fender patch or a new fender, but. We're just going to patch this up, but there's more uh, rust holes here. Let's fill that in with Dynaglass. But look at all this stuff there that's coming out. And that's with it, all this rotten out already. This is all coming from the back of it. <laughs> so anyway, let me cut some of this out. Grind this down and uh, make a patch for that and uh, I'll be back well I'll show you what I did last night if pretty much well I just got that edge of the fender to strip and I got a little bit more Bondo to put here and uh, a little bit more Bondo here I thought filled in with uh, Bondo glass and then some Bondo over top a little bit more there a little bit more there uh, the rest of it's pretty much ready to prime. Uh, been spreading Bondo, sanding, blocking. Uh, except for that half of the roof over there. It needs a little bit more sanding. I did most of this. But yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it. I'm almost ready to prime. So, uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, here's a little patch I made. So I'm just going to put it in there, something like that. And <laughs> I'll probably blow through the metal on that edge, but I'll keep tacking it on there. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let me get that tacked on there and I'll be back. Okay, guys, those other taillights just came in. So I don't know. What do you think looks better? But these are the only size as I spent a lot of time look, scrolling through all these universal type lights that would fit in here. You know, some people were commenting, oh, well, get, get bigger ones. Well, th this is it. And then this is smaller. See, I got the biggest one. So I don't know. Uh, I'll probably just leave them ones in there. I don't like the clear plastic on them, but somebody said that they painted theirs or tinted it or something. Yeah, I could, but the sun will bake it off pretty quick. Uh, 
six months or something, it'll start flaking and peeling and it'll just look even more shittier. So I think that's it, guys. Yeah, these are like 16 bucks. They did uh, refund me the, the tax, shipping, and 65%. So I got like 17 bucks back out of 22. So those are $5 taillights now. This one was broken. <laughs> yeah, there's... So anyway, use them for something else. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't have anything that's flat that would mount like that in my yard. People were put, oh, put in 68 Camaro taillights. Yeah, do you know how much 68 Camaro taillights, the, the bezel chrome, the housing and all that would cost? You know, uh, no matter, no matter what would look good in here, it costs money. And like I said, this car is just not worth putting uh, a bunch of money into. So we're going as cheap as possible. That's at five bucks. Okay, I'll be back. We'll weld in that uh, piece of uh, metal. I'll be back. Hey guys, there's the patch there. I'm just gonna fill the rest of this in with a Bondo glass. Like I said, I should have probably made a whole patch, but, uh, okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, pretty much got it all ready to prime. Well, this, mostly this side and half the roof. So I'm going to put a little bit of primer on it and try to finish off the rest of these little areas, like the front of that fender, rest of the roof tomorrow I don't know if I'll get that other side it won't be much just the uh, quarter door and fender compared to we'll have more than three quarters of it done once I get all this in primer but uh yeah there's the put some bondo glass on there and then some uh, body filler uh, getting pretty windy out and there's a cold front coming in it's supposed to be a high it was like 85 today high of 67 tomorrow <laughs> and the next day 71 and then I think it gets back up into the 80s so it's coming in right now it's windy as hell and uh, yeah 67 is gonna feel pretty cold <laughs> or a little chilly uh, Compared to being in the 90s, and then today it's cooled down to 85 or so. Anyway, let me get a little primer on here, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. I got uh, about one coat of primer over everything, and then uh, two coats on the bodywork. I wanted to put one more coat, but I just used what was in the gun there, and it was getting late and cold and windy. It was uh, chilly this morning, but uh, man, it's hot right now. That sun is beating down. Okay, I stripped down this area here, took out the marker light. Uh, it's got a crease right here, and there's a brace right behind there, so I can't easily tap it out. So put a little body filler there, a little uh, rust treatment right in there. It's indented in a little bit. Uh, I took off this chrome here for the uh, custom concourse type thing, but it's got uh, it's got these little <laughs> screws that are going to be showing, but not much I can do because this side, half of it was missing. Okay, I got some uh, plastic epoxy that I used to fix that tail light, and uh, we're going to epoxy that. Uh back on the best we can like that fill in that hole I'm fixing to do that figure I'll show you some stuff here uh, here's the front need a little bit of I was doing this in the dark pretty much Put a little bit of Bondo here I use Bondo instead of spot putty uh, started on this side this crappy trim was on here was missing on the other side 
I got a uh, some black when I did my other Nova. Uh, we'll have to get some more. It's like big door edge guarding that I used on my other Nova. Do that seriously thinking about getting a windshield. This one is so bad. Uh, I still got to take this off here and strip this. Well, I got to strip this whole side still, but uh, just this stuff is just embedded in here. It takes so much sandpaper to get it. I got half of it. I just got this area here to go. I mean, I got that half and that. I'll spray some rust treatment neutralizer on these little spots here. I guess I have to keep sanding this down. But you get it down and it's still embedded in there. Uh, what we got here? Took off this chrome. Still so much crap underneath here. Blow all that off. Uh, I'd put some acid down these edges here. So these little spots aren't too bad. Just uh, three little pinhole looking things. I'll fill them in. And started stripping this down. Uh, got a pretty good sized dent right there. And uh, that crease right in here. It's all kind of... I have to hammer that around. Yeah, it's going to be a big old Bondo spot there, but... Like I said, I don't mind getting the, the side straight, but as far as the hood, and the hood's really messed up. But anyway, uh, what else did I want to show you? Yeah, this left front here, the rats had eaten the wires. Lucky I got some of these pigtail things here. Replace that. And these front bells took the wipers off the emblems this one just busted right off it's supposed to be uh barrel clips holding it in the other side wasn't much better i think two out of the three broke but we'll have to two-way take them back on there uh yeah i think that's about it got uh see what time it is three o'clock got a couple hours still to go on it well i'm going to work on it for a couple hours and then that'll have to be the end of the video and i'll get this edited and uploaded for friday and then i think next video we'll finish off the other side and uh re-sand and prime all this and get it all ready to paint so it's getting pretty close so anyway i'll be back Okay guys, just messing with the truck a little bit, <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen the uh, dash cam video, that's the dash cam there, uh, I'll probably just leave the link in the uh, description, uh, anyway, been messing, my stereo hadn't worked in uh, a long time, it wouldn't get out no sound and you'd tap it like this and it would come on well anyway <coughs> these front door speakers here obviously original this is a 2004 right here's what the speakers look like junk absolute junk made in Mexico so yeah that's why they weren't working so I took one out of a 2001 Jeep over there it should be the same as this Jeep I think it's infinity infinity brand what is it called I thought it had a name infinity sound system or something anyway I took the two rear speakers out Maybe this one doesn't have the infinity. I thought it said infinity somewhere. Go look at it real quick. But anyway, they were like brand new. Like brand new. So if you ever need any speakers, GM or junk, 
See that one was missing. I took them. Maybe it just said infinity on the speaker itself. I thought it said it on the on the door panel. Yeah, I took them. Took them out of here. Anyway, they were the same size. Fit in there. Oh, that's where it said it. Infinity gold. Set it on the front. But anyway, those are... Oh, there's the other speaker. Chrysler Infinity. Look how nice they are. And this is three years older. And the speakers in the truck went out a few years ago. <laughs> so yeah, if you ever need any... Uh, speakers. Stick this. I should have taken that completely off, but... Anyway, I got another Jeep over there, another one there, and two over there. So anyway, it's nice to know I'm going to save them speakers to uh, <coughs> or, or remember that there's speakers in them that are that are going to be good. But anyway, poor Nikki there, I sitting my truck out here for the last three to four days and we just came home from doing some running around I, I let her out when i get in the gate she walks all the way around here and waits for me at the door while i park the car and unload groceries and stuff and uh she didn't come by and i was like oh shit, the truck's there and she was sitting out back behind the trailer she smacked right into the trailer and uh I had to grab her by the collar. Hey, Nikki, want to say hi? Hey, Nikki, Nikki. Hi, Nikki, Nikki. Want to say hi? She's got a little. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Here, Nikki, Nikki. Here, Nikki, Nikki. Right there, right above her. Right there, she smacked right into the back of that trailer. I get, I guess. You're such a good girl. You're right by her eye there. Poor Nicky, Nicky, Nicky. Poor Nicky, Nicky, Nicky. See right there, right by your eye. Poor little Nicky. Nicky's such a good girl. Nicky's such a good girl. Yeah, right there. But anyway, she's doing good. She likes being in her pen because she don't know what to do out out here. So just wait up by the step if I let her loose. But she, she likes it in her pen. She goes right in there. And uh, she's happy to get out and then go in the house. She likes being in the house. Right, Nikki? Nikki like going in the house. Nikki's a house dog. <laughs> so anyway, guys. Um, let me turn down the uh, radio here real quick. <laughs> Okay, so I knocked these dents out here, sprayed some rust neutralizer there, and uh, sprayed a bunch up here. So I'm fixing to prime all this again. I just got a little light coat on there because I didn't have no masking tape on the front or back windows. I'm going to do that right now and spray some uh, primer on there. Then all we'll have left to do is a little bondo work there, a little rust spot there. And whatever dings and dents are on these fenders. I put some epoxy. I don't know how long it takes to dry. But anyway, we'll just leave that. And maybe put a little bit more on there and something. Cover that hole. And then fix this little crease right there. So that's what we got left to do next episode. And then what we'll do is... Uh, uh, block and prime all this area block and reprime all that area there and get it ready to paint like I said So anyway guys, I think that'll be it for the video uh, Subscribe if you haven't like comment share all that stuff it's Supposed to help out the algorithms and uh, We'll be back it's, she's she's pretty close to being painted, but uh, like I said, I'm not gonna be like other youtubers and just spray bomb it or you know spray over all that crap it's just a complete 
waste of time and money and materials and everything else. You gotta you gotta strip her down to the metal, get a nice surface on there, prime it, and paint it, and then it'll last for a long, long time. A lot better than spray bombing it. And but okay, guys. And I'm gonna check. I think I'll check on a windshield here in the next few days. Ah, uh, it just looks so bad. And I'm taking all this stuff off anyway, so I might as well. I don't know. Probably be about 150 bucks. But I'll have to order a couple of tubes of uh, windshield urethane there. Can't buy them at the. You buy them at uh, AutoZone, they're 25, 30 bucks for a tube, or you can get them on eBay for like 8 bucks. So I have to get a couple of tubes and uh, get it all ready. So I can just take it out, put the old one, the new one in, and be done with it. But uh, yeah, we'll we still got some more other little knickknack stuff to do, like I mentioned before on the gauges and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, we'll see y'all next video. Thanks everybody for watching.